Okay, so hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs, and thank you for watching this video. Now, today I'm going to be showing you a rather basic tutorial on After Effects. Uh, just how to create that handheld sort of camera look. I'll have to go and play this slightly rendered section here. You can kind of see the text is moving about a bit, maybe a bit slow. You know, I've, I've seen it commonly used with like cinematics, for example, uh, when someone's like spectating and it's kind of like it's a handheld camera. Uh, this kind of saves keep keyframing it and rotating it and scaling it and it's just a pretty good random method so I'm just going to go to file new new project no I'm just going to import no I'm not going to import anything actually uh, I'm going to quickly make my scene so I'm just going to make a new composition uh, you obviously may have your clipping or whatever you want to want it to work on I'm just going to quickly type in scrum designs I don't know what font I'm using, I'm using candy rounded, it should be some default one, not sure. And it's going to make a new solid. And it's all the same colour, so I'm just going to go there. Drag that underneath, so the text is above, like so. And there you go, I've just got my basic scene, but I'm just going to add a cheeky drop shadow. So I'm just going to type in drop shadow, like so. Just kind of brings out the text a little bit more. Uh, the distance... I'm going to change the colour to a lightish grey. Okay, so there we go. Now, if you're doing it like me and you have these all these different layers, I go to layer. Lay, if you could try and get a layer. If your mouse doesn't seem to lag like mine. Layer, pre-compose. Okay. And I'll just kind of merge that all into one layer. So you can apply it to the text and the, and the background at the same time as opposed to do it individually. So now in the effects and presets tab, you want to type in, so my computer's going all spastic and feel us really loud, don't know if you can hear that or whatever, but type in wiggle, now we're going to be using wiggle position, and obviously you can use some of the other ones, so now I'll drag the corner of the clip and drag it out just a bit, so you've got some kind of leeway where it wiggles there, and the amount, maybe just crank it down to 10, you know, just play around the settings, and the speed obviously but if you go if you put it to half so maybe range quickly maybe just build it there we go computer stopped okay I'll play it there so you can see how it moves about and that's looking quite nice and you can add like a rotation to that as well uh, just minimize these for a sec you got a rotation the amount to put it down to like 10 you know and just kind of like play around the settings, add different ones, whatever floats you built. And as you see there, you can see the black border, so you don't want to do that. So it kind of, this is like three, and just kind of play that out. Yeah, you're trying to, by making it bigger around the outside, you're giving it leeway so then black lines don't come in, as you just seen. Uh, this end was too high, so we kind of overrided that. Uh, but no, that's how you do it, if you kind of play from there. If you can play. Many of you may already know this as well. Uh, no, that's a good way out to kind of get the random handheld, handheld sort of camera effect. Yeah, it kind of does save keyframing it and all of that, etc. And scaling it in Vegas or whatever. Uh, but thanks for watching this video, guys. This has been Connor with Chrome Designs. And thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.